Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell. I am back today with the 100 day project. We'll be back for another 80 odd days. Uh, we are doing day 28 and it's a double pocket um, tag and it is again a very simple project you'll need uh, various pieces of paper uh, if you have bigger scrap pieces of paper for sure and depending on the size of tag you want to make I want to make a taller tag today I like a taller tag instead of like these smaller tags and I'll show you in a minute why Let's just look at the project first so this one it's just it's a tag shape that opens up and then it has two pockets here that you can obviously add things in to write on or maybe add some photos or you can write I've printed mine double sided so you can still even write in the back here and then add some photos or tags or tickets or you know whatever you have as a memorabilia or ephemera in that you want to add to your tag so that's it um, and then this tag I would most probably just you can glue it onto a page as maybe even a tuck spot if you glue it here and here it can be a tuck spot or um, what I most likely would do because both sides are pretty I would either um, put it over a page and just paper clip it in <coughs> or tuck it into a pocket I probably won't glue this down just because the back is pretty already oh and then the reason why I like the bigger tags like if I say for instance this was a pocket I had a pocket down here and if I put this tag in the pocket I usually put a pocket on my um, book pages or printed papers so I can leave the other papers for writing so if I put a tag in here this bigger tag just kind of fills up that space whereas if I have the smaller tags even two or three of them they still it just leaves a big piece of this paper blank and that's why I like the bigger tags and I usually make taller tags but that's just personal preference. The other thing I wanted to show you quickly for those of you who have not, you know, who's beginners. Um, let me just make a tag shape here. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's two ways and I know a lot of you already know this, but like I'm saying, if there's somebody who ha do, do not know this, who's new to junk journaling, so if you want to make a tag shape, you can get that tag shape by just cutting off the corner and then flipping this corner over. And this, I mean, I don't even know who thought of this. I think it's really great. Um, and then you'll get the tag shape. Or obviously you can just take another tag if you like the angle and just copy that and then what a lot of people nice again I don't know who was clever enough to think about this so if you cut an old um, gift card or whatever up and you just kind of line it up with your tag cut it out and slide it over and cut both sides then you don't even have to flip the card over so all you need to do is like I'm gonna copy the slant of this tag because for a little tag this is a great slant and there I have my card so like for instance if you have a big tag like this obviously that little corner is not enough you do need a little bit of a bigger to give you that nice shape anyway let's get on to making our project of the day enough talking about other things that is my prototype so I have some printed papers here for this project I would say um, a lightweight cardstock is a good idea um, I think even the 32 pounds are might be a little bit too flimsy so and I printed mine double-sided 
double sided definitely but you can always just coffee dye the back you don't have if you don't want to spend um, or if you don't want to kind of print both sides obviously coffee dyeing on the back or if you don't mind the white then that's not bad either so let's start by cutting it up to keep mine simple I'm going to do mine again the same size because it just makes mass making easier but if you want different sizes for sure do that and I like the size of this one let's just measure I just folded this one I didn't measure so this one is about seven inches I'm going to cut all my papers at um, seven inches we can do that afterwards for now I'm just gonna show you at least once how to make it but oh I'm sorry that probably made a very loud noise um, anyway so then I end up with this after I've cut off a full page if you have scraps by all means you don't have to make it this big I just want a couple of bigger ones then you just fold it in half and I'm going to use my bone folder to just flatten it nicely because it is a lightweight cardstock I'm going to use my cancelled Costco card membership and just cut my card shape I don't know if this is this is kind of a Hermelinda tag I think as well anyway <clears throat> I have videos on that maybe I'll if I remember I'll add that to my video so because you have this left over you can easily go in and make your pocket from here you can also fold this bottom flap up maybe we can make one like that but I Tina said the same thing. Um, I, I like gluing the pocket on just because it kind of is less bulky and just neater I think but that's up to you and you can obviously sew these. I'm not sewing because then I have to stop and I'm stopping enough as is with coughing so I'm not gonna sew you can make a notch and I did make a notch in the other ones but I'm not gonna make a notch in this one I might just add some lace for this because I have very nice like a small blue lace that I'm looking at here on my table I'm thinking I'm gonna put the lace on there And there's my one pocket and let me just see yes it is I was just thinking is that big enough to get a tag in but it is okay and there's my tag and that's it and I think this paper is R.D. Mays I think I will try to remember which papers is which but I my I'm still organizing my digital kits as well trying to put all the shop names onto each digital kit and I'm telling you it's taking forever anyway so that's one and then you would just decorate it so let's start making kind of like a mess make for these so first thing I'm going to do is cut my papers and I think this is chapter one this something kitchen papers mm, anyway and this one is Artie Mays again and this one I think is beautiful birds uh, this one I think is ruby and pearl one of our Christmas kits but don't quote me on this one I'm not sure uh, this one is 
ruby and ball, and I think it's golden. Um, this one I don't know, unfortunately. Wow, this. Okay, and this one is from Dina from Shabby Dabby Doodah, but again, I don't can't remember the kid name. Okay. So we've got them all cut up and then we're just going to fold them over. Fold them. <clears throat> wanted to say I was saying yesterday that I would probably do a, like a giveaway and I decided to do a giveaway by the 50 episode 50 mark and then again at the 100 mark and I will what I thought I'll do is I will I already looked at you know answered comments and stuff so I am adding oh I folded this one the wrong way <laughs> I have added you know people that have commented quite a bit a couple of times so I am going to start adding these people into the draw and you can obviously oh I folded all of these the wrong way um, it doesn't matter. I, you can obviously be entered more than once for like you can be entered for the 50, 50 episode, 50th episode and again for the 100th episode depending on comments and I will have to put these names in a bowl each day and then do the draw once I've recorded the 50th episode. I hope that is <laughs> makes sense because I'm trying to do two things at once. Anyway, so I will mention um, three people each day to give a lot of people a chance to win and enter your name in the draw. And so for today, I have Cheryl, Sherry, and Annaline. That's my sister. <laughs> Thank you for watching and commenting. So I will put your name in the bowl and we will good luck. And then I will, by the 50th episode, fill an envelope with some of the ephemera pieces that I've made and decorated. I'll do already decorated pieces and we'll go from there. Oh, I should have had my bowl so I can have all these scraps in the bowl immediately. I have a bowl over here for my little scraps and I keep forgetting to pull it over when I'm doing stuff like this. It's just typical. Anyway, there, let's put that in the recycling. Okay, so now we need to add pockets. And yeah, now my pages aren't that skinny. I still have some scraps left from yesterday as well. So the pockets on the inside are perfect for your little scraps. And it doesn't even have to go with the... Um, outside for sure I'm going to use this <clears throat> and just I'm going to cut the two pockets the same size I think this is from yesterday or the day before there and while I have this piece of paper here I thought I'll make a 
well tail punch or tap to go maybe on the outside and if I don't use it for my tag I'll have a well tail punch for later so let's look at this one I do have some of this paper left where did that go shall we use this on the inside and so this one if you do want to write on the inside you will obviously have to add some coffee dyed papers but remember you'll already add some tags on the inside to write on as well if or if you are right using um, just adding photos and you do want writing space that is a lot of writing space that is available over there and you can just add coffee dyed paper in okay let's cut this side off a little bit too okay and shall we do a whale tail punch tab just in case <coughs> now I'm creating a lot of scraps again okay these are the kind of fatter ones because I glued them the wrong way and I'm wondering because my rose is kind of sitting this way I think I'm going to put this on the inside and make my pocket over here what do we have on here mm, this would have been perfect if I folded it this way my um, okay let's put the pocket in here get the right size okay and I'm thinking I can possibly just half this and then have two pockets that's the same size okay yes and then a well tail punch um, it's gonna fold this way doesn't really matter you're not gonna get the writing right side up okay there next one and see this one I wonder I'm not I don't think I'm gonna put pockets in this one I'm gonna leave this one and it's just going to be a writing space don't have to put pockets in all of them this one will add pockets you can write on here maybe with a thicker like a sharpie or something um, what shall we put on the inside maybe some of this And I'm not making notches in my pockets because I do like to add some lace on my pockets a lot of times so I'm not making notches but you can definitely add notches to your pockets and let's do a whale tail punch I want some pink and some blue <clears throat> and the last one and this one I think I'm gonna leave for writing as well there's this is definitely you can definitely write on that without any problem mm, just had to take a little bit of a break for my voice otherwise it becomes way too croaky <laughs> 
and then the next step would be to add some glue okay that one does not want to work today so let's see yeah, so I'm very sorry about my voice it is not 100% yet hopefully because I'm now I also have a bit of a cold on top of the coughing you know suppose it's better to get all of this at once rather than being sick again in a week's time <coughs> So which way do we want the pockets for this one? Let's do these. Just to give a little bit of a contrast for the pockets. shall we do okay now let's do this side because I think on both I kind of cut them out because they both have a, oops sorry a vegetable on the bottom The last pocket needs to go on, and this one you can write maybe in between, like here and there, in between the writing if you do want extra writing space. But like I said, you can always add two tags in here and then have the tags writing on even both sides if you don't decorate the front of your tag. Okay, so that's it. And our double pocket tag is done. Some of them are not a double pocket tag, but just a double tag. The ones that I didn't put pockets in that we're just going to write in that's good too let's get all of those okay so let's decorate one like this one is the same as this the papers are so pretty I just added a label on here and a little whale tail punch or you can even just add some tag toppers and I think you're done it's just so pretty I don't think it needs more so let's not decorate that one this one is really <laughs> pretty too um, I think, like I said, this, the outside, uh, oh, that's Artie Mae's Beautiful Birds. And unfortunately, the bird part is on the bo on the back, but I will probably, let's add something on here. Um, and then this can be, if, uh, then this one I would definitely do over the page. You know paper clip it over the page rather than just let's add some lace here with that so I will let me just finish gluing and then I'll show you and I'm just using wet glue for this just because it's nice and fast a glue stick will definitely work um, let's 
let's use the make a small little ruffle here with the lace <clears throat> and this is I saw this Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah does this a lot and I really like how it looks because the ruffle kind of looks very messy and you know, not uniform which is nice Just be careful not to burn your fingers. That's why I'm using these cheaper kind of glue guns because the glue doesn't get that hot that I burn my fingers. So that side is decorated. So let me just grab the journal again. Oh, I got stuck. Anyway, what I was saying with this one, because the back side is really pretty, I would definitely do this like an over, just paper clip it on over the page, because then you can see the back and this side. We're going to decorate this side now. And I feel like, well, there's already a butterfly another butterfly might be a bit much what do we have on the inside blue and pink so i'm thinking this red rose is a bit much too um we just need to find something i have some of these stickers that i haven't really let's see if there's something they are all very green there's some pink I kind of don't want it on top of the butterfly. Maybe something like that. And if we can find a little something for the bottom. These are, I think this is Shabby Dabby Doodah as well. Something blue. And think we have this one inside. No, nope, it is this one inside. So let's see. That could work. We can even have the tab on the top. And I have this Oh, this pink. Oh, okay. Wait. I still have these pink or the lace. Remember the, what did we call this? The lace. Let me just look on my, oh, I don't have it in here. Um, lace dangles, lace streamers. Do you not call them lace streamers? Um, maybe if I have that on the top there as a topper, or is that a bit much? I still feel I need a little something here on the bottom. Maybe something like this. From the Sears catalog. I think this was, I tore it out when I did the um, Marguerite Miller. On Sunday. Want to bring in some blue? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. That is too green. Oh my! Why is this so difficult finding the right blue? Let's just stick with that and make it easy. Or not. <laughs> I'm just see, looking around on my desk what else I have in blue. 
this is not the right color either. Oh. something okay there's this one which might be a better color in blue but it doesn't go with that one or if I use that with this then I have too many numbers okay let's do that okay let's start gluing <laughs> And again, I'm just gonna use Fabric Tac just because it's faster than using a glue page. And okay, and that little bit of ruffle is showing out there, which I like. stamp and a label uh, all kind of go-to's for me okay and then let's see if I can get this off I need to clean my hands Let's burnish this on there. Okay. Let me just. Okay, and then this, I'm thinking I am just going to hot glue on there. And you can always, I can maybe add, a, maybe I'll add a paper clip on there so you can take it off or paper clip this on. Yes, I think I'm going to change this into a paper clip. Okay, I'll do that off camera. Another idea to use your, what did we say, um, lace streamers, Dina called them, lace streamers. So let's just decorate one more quickly. Um, and of course you can go in on the inside and add some decoration on there too. You can decorate both sides. Let's just do this one, just the one side, just to keep it, you know, make the, don't make the, um, the video too long. Um, I'm just looking here for maybe some scrap pieces of paper that we can use. <clears throat> On these I folded the wrong way but they can still work. Let's put that there. And it has just a teeny tiny bit of red there that I don't like. That's just the way I cut them and so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay. Let's add that on there. And um, let's see what else we have here sitting. What do we have on the inside? Maybe we can repeat some of that. Let me see if I still have any of that left. It doesn't look like it. Oh. That would have been nice. Okay. I don't want more script, even though it doesn't look too bad. don't really like to use script on script, but let's see some of these stickers with the leaves on them. Maybe just add something like that. 
top or behind. Yeah, I do like that. Maybe just a different one. Maybe this one. Yes, I like that one. And we can add, what do we have on the inside? Always a tab on top. There. And I have some, oh, I have some <laughs> sparkly pink stuff. There, maybe. And I have this pink ribbon. But I don't like that. So I have this one as well. Yes, that's better. And I'm just going to get rid of that ruffle there. It's just a bit too much. Maybe we can have that with that on top. <laughs> and I just saw where did I just see it? Oh, there. <coughs> I have some of this. Let's add that on there, and maybe we need um, I'm just looking for a label. Where's those labels from Eloka? Those might work. Um, let's do that one. Just to give it a little bit of black to ground it. So these labels were from Elopa. I still have the page here. Vintage labels blue on Etsy. And this one is very dark blue. It's almost black. Yes, okay. And then I was thinking to add some gold to this. <laughs> or am I crazy? Here's the gold. And again, it is from Prima. And it's a gold wax. So let's just add some gold. the edges instead of inking it. Just a little bit of gold, not too much. Okay, let's glue. Okay, so I'll have to, I'm going to bring out my glue pages and do this with glue stick because otherwise my fingers gets too dirty. So first thing we need to do is the sticker. Let's see where we need the sticker. Something over here. And I just burnish them down. Then they all kind of have the same color in the white part. You'll see if you, when you, what I mean, if you don't, the part where you don't burnish it down, you can kind of see. This is cardstock, so I'm going to add glue this on with some art litter glue and maybe I don't need all oh, the glue stick. I'll add this on here and then I'll just add a little bit of gold wax on top of that again. And I'm just spreading that glue in the bottom because I kind of feel the lumpiness of the glue there. So it's a good idea if you're using wet glue to spread it. Okay, then my Oh, this one is cardstock too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we don't need the glue stick after all. 
let's just add this one on there and do we just how much do we want of this maybe just like that again some fabric deck So I have this, but I was just, I saw this as well. Do we want something different? No, I actually like the sparkle more. And this piece is very old. It's kind of coming undone. So I'll have to glue it down really well. So the sequence especially the two spots where you've cut it so the sequence doesn't come undone okay see especially those two spots there I'm going to put a little extra glue on this end push it down. My fingers are sticky so now everything is sticking to my fingers. Okay, and then my applique little roses. I got these from Amazon quite some time ago so I'm not sure if they'll still be on Amazon but yeah, there. So let's just add some gold here. And then on top, I want to add some gold to my little whale tail tab as well. I'm going to do it on both sides. And I'm thinking um, I would probably add some gold splatters to this as well. Just maybe cover up my rows and the laces and put some gold splatters on afterwards. I just don't have my gold paint here on this table at the moment and I want to have the pink part this way okay so you can go ahead and decorate both sides obviously and the insides as well I mean on the insides I wouldn't add too much because you are still going to add something in the pockets but um, a thin piece of lace on here would look great. Where did I put that blue lace that I was thinking about? Just a thin piece of lace on there make, dresses up your pocket already and maybe just a flower or a label again. You know, just play around with it and you can definitely um, with a little extra bulk decorate the inside and the back if you're planning to just pop it over a page. Anyway, that is it. The double pocket tag. If you do not put in pockets, it is a Hermelinda tag or just a double tag. Let's see what we did today. This, where's this one was my prototype and it just opens up and you have let's make room for all of these room for two tags this one we decorated together as well this one is undecorated and this one I have two pockets inside and some of them I didn't add pockets this one I didn't add pockets because I feel that's a lot of real estate for just writing and this one the same and this one we didn't decorate and then this one I'm going to make into a paper clip and then it would just clip it on to the page and that would look pretty as well <clears throat> and maybe I'm thinking I would probably go in and this butterfly here I am going to add some glossy glaze so that it would be shiny and kind of 
um, stand out a little bit more. And then the back we decorated as well with just a label and a little bit of lace because just look at that. Maybe the same I will just maybe put some glossy accents on the butterfly. So we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven today. And um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Um, and leave a comment and you might be put into the draw. The people that I've picked already left more than, you know, four or five comments on various um, videos up to now. So I will try to pick people that have left comments more than once. So if you want to receive a envelope in the mail with about 20 to 30 ephemera pieces in it already decorated, uh, leave a comment and um, you might just get lucky. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again tomorrow because tomorrow it is the 100 day project all over again. <laughs> thank you, see you soon, bye!